This is a Minecraft texture pack that took over a year to create every single texture. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. This is a show that'll teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. Today, we're taking a look at a texture pack made by Durzo. Durzo spent 418 days creating this texture pack with one texture every day. Yes, this was a sensation. He covered it on his blog with a new texture every single day, showing what they look like, what the differences between the original and his texture looks like, and it was amazing and it is finished, so you can download it and play it for yourself. It's amazing how many items are in a texture pack. I was scrolling through, it was just like scrolling on forever, and you're like, oh, he must be finished now. Oh yeah, the shovel. Oh yeah, the dandelion. Oh yeah, the pot. Oh yeah, clay. It was just like, there were so many things that I forgot require a texture. I'm gonna jump into, uh, into, into Minecraft and uh, show off what this texture pack looks like. So first, we're gonna go to Options, Resource Packs. It is technically a resource pack, um, and it is 32 by 32 pixels. Uh, large. Once you click done, it'll switch over and you can see that there are a few things that are different. Uh, the, the texture pack sort of gives you a a more contrasty look uh, for a few of the blocks. We're already in it. We, you can already see this. Uh, some of this is andesite. We have granite down here. This is polished granite. Hard granite. These are half slabs. So this is just normal stone right here. This is iron blocks. One of the things, uh, this, is, uh, this is the sand. What is this? Hardened sand, 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 hardened, hardened sandstone. There we go. <laughs> uh, the, um, I really like the glass. I know it's very simple, but it is very see-through. You don't have to worry about all that, um, all that stuff in the way of this glass. Here's the beacon block. Let's run down and see if we can spot some more uh, creations with this. Let's go ahead and sprint. The Everything sort of looks fateful to the original texture pack, except, oh, I'm on fast graphics here, so this is what uh, some of the oak, or oh, am I on fast graphics? Yes, I am. This is what oak leaves look like. There should be some spruce around here, I thought. There's dark oak over there, but those leaves look almost exactly the same. Here's cobblestone, and this is what I kind of meant with a little bit more contrasty. Uh, I love the planks. They just feel so smooth and so cool. We'll head over here. That is some stained glass up there. Check out these fences. I really do like that. The hardened clay is a little smoother than normal. Oh, look, here's some of the flowers. There's a poppy. Forget the name of that one. Check out some of the items in my inventory. Hey, look at that, there's my diamond armor. Armor looks great, the bucket looks great, a bed. We have my favorite ender pearls, some arrows, and of course your diamond tools down there. I really, really gotta say that I love this texture pack. It keeps everything just close enough to original for me to be able to understand what each and every block is and not become tripped up on fi figuring out what one or two blocks is. I love how this looks like it's a flow, like a weird portal flow, it's so neat. I never get tripped up trying to figure out what a block is, yet it adds really cool dimension to the world. You can see these, <laughs> these just look so nice and clean. Very good. I can head on over to the Mesa biome, or Pulsewurst Jr. has a, there's some more stained, stained glass. You can see that it doesn't have all the little sort of light reflector on it, but it does still very much look like glass. This tiny tower is a perfect example. It has a lot of different textures on it. Also, here is a look at some of, this is like a game of me trying to remember what the correct, I don't wanna just say the, the reeds, cause they're not, this is sugar cane, there we go. I have to remember what each and everything actually is. Hello, that's wool, wool has a very good texture. There's cactus, pants. We have some carpet in here, lapis lazuli. I like the ladders as well. He originally did a ladder that wasn't, I wasn't like super 
fond of. It looked a little weird and rickety and he fixed it and oh my gosh, it's so nice. I love the bed, that shadow under the bed makes it look like there's almost a texture on top of it. Really like, uh, and there's the uh, uh, armor stands up here. This is the top of the crafting table. Haven't really gotten a good look. The crafting table is one of my favorite items and they never change. Oh, I love, I forgot to mention, this is, I love the uh, redstone lamp. All of the, most of the, this one looks about the same, but most of the art uses the same art, but just higher definition art for the 32 by 32. There's some horse armor. Here is a rail, a, a mine cart, mine cart there. Looking good. I really like the detail in the hook. Looks very nice. And here's a bookshelf. Haven't seen that before. And I think we're almost done with a lot of the textures. Of course, there's way more things in Minecraft than jump to mind. So you can see that is a higher definition painting, but it is still the same painting. A little bit of water flow here. See, higher resolution, but still the same which is quite nice. And I believe, is that coal? No, that is, that is wool. A coal looks also very, very nice in this texture pack. I, I really like coal as well. So there you go, uh, a new texture pack. It took a long time to make and I'm really, whoa! Oh man, I didn't think, okay, I do have my uh, feather falling on. It took a long time to make, but man, am I impressed with how this looks. I really do love the definition of each, especially things like cobblestone. I haven't been able to show you the ores, which is one thing I kind of wanted to show you. So I was actually gonna go over to Anders over here. He has a sort of a mining operation base that sort of has some ores in it. So I wanted to show that off. I forget exactly which building it is in. I think it's in this one. Um, you can see sort of the glowstone underwater and things like that. Where is his mining operation? I don't think this is it. Nope, this is not it. It is a different uh, mining operation. So you can see some of the ores around. The crafting table is quite a nice te texture and it's one of my favorites so far to be honest. I believe it's in here. Anders, where do you keep your mine? And my mine shaft, here it is. I found it, I knew it. So in here you can see a lot of the ores. Redstone, coal, gold, lapis. Here's some iron down here. I believe there's even a few diamonds down here at one point. I may be incorrect. I think I'm incorrect. Uh, so that is his mining operation down here. Looks really good. And that is kind of all there is to show. Oh, here's a chest. Looks so good. Uh, you know, nice, nice definition to the menus as well. It gives a lot more contrast for you to kind of see. Oops. <laughs> Going, oh, I'm, I'm glitching all out here. And that is one of the my favorite texture packs ever created. Still amazing that Durzos kept with it and made one texture a day for 418 days. I'm just amazed by it. Go to the description below to download and check out this texture pack. And I'll see you next time on OMG Craft. If you like this video, give it a like down below. If you want to catch more episodes, subscribe at youtube.com slash OMG Craft. And that is also where you can see all of our previous episodes. There's a bunch of them. So just jump in and start watching. See you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.